Hi there. It is a muggy uh, summer day here and we finally um, have a break in the rain and as you can see there's a bit of sun coming through and I wanted to make a video. I have not made a video in a very long time and that is because there's a couple of reasons for that. First was because I really have not done anything new. I, I hadn't done anything new to my filofaxes in quite a long time. And the other reason was because I haven't gotten any new filofaxes in quite a long time. I'm really happy with what I have right now and um, I'm not, I haven't seen anything in the new range that has really grabbed me. So I haven't really had any, I kind of looked at the stuff yet. I'll talk about um, that on another video. Um, what I found was yesterday when I started trying to make a video, I had so much it turned out to show that my videos were getting way too long. So what I'm going to do today is just talk about um, my um, Holborn, Holborn A5, um, which I used all last year for work. I'm going to talk about the new dividers that I made and just kind of um, w the kind of tools I use to work with this. Um, then I'm going to make hopefully a couple of other videos today as well. So um, this was my Filofax that I used all last year for work. Um, what had happened was I had gotten um, a sketch zip and I'm just going to, I'm going to try to make this as gentle as possible. I tried to keep everything out of the picture frame. I hate it when there's a lot of clutter around everywhere. So this was the sketch zip. It has kind of a microfiber. It has a leather look spine. It's like a little gray strip of cloth here. It is actually a very nice filofax. Like if you saw this at Staples or something, you'd probably be like, whoa, that is a really nice organizer. Um, it has elasticized pen loops on both sides. It has a nice big deep pocket here. Um, it has a spot for your, um, you know, for your pad at the back. Um, these are the dividers I had last year. I used one of those. Um, it wasn't a heated laminator. It was just a self laminating from the dollar store, and it did not work. But anyway, um, you know, trial and error. But w I really wanted to get. And what, the reason I got this was because I wanted to see if I would like a zippered Filofax. Well, I loved it. And so then the Holborns came on sale and I, I already really loved them. I have a personal Holborn that I totally love and I've since gotten the personal zipped too. Um, I would say the Holborn is like my favorite Filofax um, type. And so I thought, well, it's marked way down. I'm going to try it. Because one of the things about this was this zipper here, this zipper is kind of a, le um, a cloth and it just seemed like it might not last. And I also found that when I tried to stuff it, it didn't, it didn't, it's not pliable. So it would like almost become like a weird shape when you would put a lot in. So I ordered the Holborn. I didn't know if I would like it because like for example I really like the Finsbury in a smaller Filofax but I do not like the Finsbury in the A5 at all. So I wasn't sure. Anyway, uh, this is my favorite size for the whole one. I love this size. I've never been a big fan of all the stitching around it. I always felt it looked almost too like utilitarian or kind of mannish or something but I find on the A5 it actually makes it look kind of funky like I love this organizer it also is like I've tried to keep it slim I don't want to get it too overstuffed but like when you stuff lots in it just has this nice pliableness to it so that even when you have lots in there it still has kind of a nice uh, pleasant sort of sleek shape it has a, a pocket in here, which is it, um, the uh, personal ones have this too. Now, what's nice about this is that it can fit a full, like a full-size letter piece of paper folded twice. It'll go right, you saw it, you couldn't see that that, that was in there. Um, I like this pocket, actually, I, and it's very, like, you can really, that's the nice thing, what, what's nice about the Holborn, you can really squish it. I like this pocket because what I would do, this was just a word search that I gave the kids at the end of the year. I'm a teacher. But I also like it, like if I go to the mailbox and there's something there, a handout or something, I can just stick it in here. And sometimes I'll leave it sticking out a little bit so then it kind of reminds me that this is something I need to look at later. Um, the Holborn has a beautiful zipper. It's all leather here if you can see what I mean. It has a leather toggle. Um, it 
has a beautiful kind of a, you know, it has a spine if you've never seen them. And they have a, it's, and the stitching isn't white. It's kind of plain back. The stitching isn't white. It's kind of a gray. So it's gorgeous. I used it all last year. I um, took it to meetings with me. I took it everywhere. It was kind of like my little security blanket. I just completely love it. This leather is so beautiful and forgiving. I had... I have gotten into sort of the Erin Condren thing, and I have an Erin Condren planner, which I'm going to show in another video. And I had it in my bag up against the Erin Condren planner, and you can see it because it's pretty much gone now, but there were a bunch of lines where it had sat up against the coils of the Erin Condren. You know what I mean? Like, you think of anything that you would have with a coil binder. There were a bunch of coils, and it had sat up against it. And it has almost completely disappeared and healed itself. You see what I mean? Like, if I had done that with this thing, the sketch over here, like, what I found with this, this although, although it wouldn't make a dent, but I find that it gets kind of grungy, and there's not really any way to clean it. Whereas this leather, it's just divine. I, I cannot say enough about this. I don't think they're available anymore, so I, I'm so happy I bought it when I did. Here's the inside. Um, I just finished making new dividers, so I wanted to talk a little bit about those. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the features of this, even though I, 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 I feel like I'm sort of being a tease because I honestly don't think you can get it unless it would be for thousands of dollars. Like some of the prices now for these file effects are just getting to be out of this world. I think I paid maybe $65 for this or something at the most. Like it was half price. I'm sorry, people are probably crying in the background. Um, so here's what I do with this. It says card slots. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's seven card slots. I don't use them for cards. This is my work binder. So I have my little post-its. I really like having these here because if I'm um, getting lessons ready for the kids or if I'm, like sometimes I'll be looking through a book and finding a reading piece for them, I can put that, I can use one of those little things and just stick it in there. Or if I'm doing a professional reading, I can stick that post-it in a, on a spot that I want to remember. This came from an Etsy seller. I think it's the girl who sells me my papers. And it says, um, it's a Benjamin Franklin quote. It says, thanks, Krista. That's my name. And it says, I am indebted to my notebook for the happiness of my whole life, which I think was kind of neat. Um, it's gotten a little bit beat up because I just keep it right here. Like so. Um, this, I just, I did these when I was doing my laminate. I had a little bit of extra space, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. And I'm going to, I think, hole punch these. These were post-it notes. These came in a set, I think, from, like, um, Chapters, Indigo, whatever it's called over where you guys would be, bookstore. And um, it came in a set with two of them, and I just put them back-to-back -back and stuck up their post-its. So I stuck them together and made this nice little thing. And I think I might, you know, hole punch that so that I can have that as a note. That I, that I can put in. I might even put the little um, dashes in it so I can just take it right out. Same thing with this one. Again, just put it, this is just the same page twice. I just put it back to back. I stuck them together. Just I didn't stick them with glue. That's the nice thing about the laminator, and I'll show you that in a second. You don't really have to super stick things because um, the laminator kind of does it for you. Sorry, I'm kind of getting away from this here. So, I know people want to see the whole planner. Um, I changed up my pen configuration a little bit. Holborns are, another thing that's amazing about them, is that they have leather on the top, but elasticized on the bottom. So they're very classy and beautiful, but they fit lots of pens. Now, I used to have my red pen over here. And I'll show you, well, I'll see. If, I, don't want, I don't want to make things really jittery, but um, what I've done, I'll try to get it to the back here. I loved, I loved this when I did it, is I put, try not to move it around too much, if you can see, like I made this out of a folder that was part of a pack of folders. It was a full sized page one and I just cut it down and then, like this is open on the side, but it doesn't matter because you have your holes there. Do you see what I mean? Like that would have been a whole page that would have been sealed at the end. But what I did was I just took one of those adhesive pen holders and put it here and then I, when you put your papers in there you can't even see it. And I have one of my pens there and as you can see it just nestles right in beside because these, the, I find the zip, and somebody actually did a video about this, the zip 
uh, ones are a little bit bigger than your average sized file effects, which I also love, is that it has a little bit of a bigger heft. There's more room to kind of, you know, stuff it with stuff. So I used to have my red pen over here. Now, what I discovered though, I hadn't used this pen for a while. If you've seen my videos, you know I'm a big cross fountain pen person. And I hadn't used this one for a while, and this is a beautiful little pen. And it doesn't have the screw top, it just has the kind of clicks on. But it fits gorgeously in here. I found sometimes with those pen tops, when you pulled the pen out, it, the top would come off. So it would be a pain, but that isn't happening with that because that elastic is quite gentle. So I moved, I, what I had had was I had the red one here and I had another cross pen here that I didn't like as well. So I've taken that out and switched them out. I like to have a red pen with me when I, because this is my workbook and I'm a teacher, I like to have my red pen if I'm going to do some marking. So I like to just have that with me if I need it. Um, I'm just going to show you, I ordered some of those pen holders from Erin Condren. She has them on her website if you're familiar with her. These I had gotten ages ago at Staples for 47 cents. I was at Staples the other day and I do not believe they have them anymore. There's probably somewhere that you can get them, but I mean it was such a steal. I've used two of them and now I'm kind of obsessed with trying not to use them because I only have two left. Um, I did order two pen holders from Erin Condren though. Hers are a little bit different. Hers are like a, almost like a see-through. So, um, but I'm going to be using those in my Aaron Cotter planner. So anyway, um, okay. So, um, there's also a few little stickers here, like just, like, you know, like, like the ones you put on for your calendar for birthdays and things like that. Um, so, here are my dividers. Now, I had made dividers. I used them all year. I did a video on them. If you watch my channel, you've seen my video on my planner, on my dividers. So I have tried every possible way to make dividers that you can think of. I'm trying to, here, I'll move those out of the way. And I'm going to bring down my dividers that I made. Okay, so these are the ones that I made for last year. Um, these were um, already dividers for notebooks for students. I, when when uh, fall hits, I go and if they see any that are cute, I buy them. So they were like this. See what I mean? It had a tab already made. So what I did was I took a set of these and I made them into dividers, but on the back they have lines. I didn't like that. So I wanted my back to also have a pattern. So I put scrapbooking paper on the back and cut around them, glued them together, and laminated them. Now I'll show you what I mean. Like for example, if you see this one here, see where the tab is? That would have been this. I'll put it over it. These are going to go on the floor. Sorry about that. So you see I would have just gone like that. You see that? I'll put it on this. Like that. And then I would have just cut around. And I would have done that for each of them. They would have had tabs all up. So, as you can see, I have monthly, weekly, daily, and they all, here's my to-do page here. And I established, I made six dividers. I had, then I had meetings, plans, notes, which went like this. Sorry if this is moving around too much. And then my la on the very bottom, I covered all this in my old video if you want to see it. But what I, what I did left was this. I have this one for finances that's part of a folder. And I just had that almost like as my last tab, if that makes sense. Now, this was really my first foray into using the laminator. The laminator is right here. I go up. It's a swing line laminator. If you can see it right there. Okay. I think my husband got it at Staples. And the laminating paper I have been using is Scotch Thermal. I buy this at Walmart. I just had the brainstorm to start using the legal size. If you use the legal size, you can do two A5 sheets. 
Okay? See what I'm saying? Um, when I was using the... Uh, sorry, I'll talk about my label maker in a second. When I was using my... When I first started using it, I bought letter size. And it was a huge waste because, there, you know, you would only... It, would, it wouldn't fit like... It would fit this way, but then there wouldn't be room. If you see what I mean, it would, you, you had to do one page per page. Now I can do two, okay? And the legal size doesn't cause that much more. Now, here's the problem. Because these were already quite thick, and then I put scrap of paper behind them, they didn't adhere. Like, it's hard to explain. If you've done laminating, and it's hard with these videos, like, it's hard to know if you're speaking to somebody who's so, like, yeah, I know that already. I don't need to hear about this. Or if it's somebody who doesn't know anything about it. So I'm going to sort of try to take the middle ground here. If you do this laminating, when you laminate, it, it doesn't go right up to the side of the page. There's always, like, a little edge that you have to stay beyond. And if you don't stay beyond that, your page will split. Well, if you have a thick paper that you're laminating, it creates even more of an edge. So it, it makes it so that you have to make this big thick edge on the sides. So the thinner your paper that you laminate, the less of an edge there is. Does that make sense? I hope that people are understanding me. So of course, being an idiot, I just cut close thinking, oh well, you know, it's, a la it's glued down because it's heated and no. So here's what I found is for ones like this, like monthly, I don't you I don't touch this tab that much. I just go straight to. Well, I don't have my monthly. Sorry, God, I'm doing that very well. I don't have my monthly um, ruler in here. But like, if I go to, where are all my rulers? I have oh, I have them all in the wrong spot. Well, like I would just go to my. Well, here, here's my one for my daily. Okay, so I would just go to my daily one. So I wouldn't go to my daily divider. But for ones down here, I often would go to them. For example, for the meeting one, I often went to that first page of the meeting because when I had a meeting, I would put a fresh piece of paper behind the divider for my new meeting. I hope I'm making sense to people. So what happened was my meeting one particularly got com where is it? Oh, here. Got completely mangled. See, and it split. Because I was always grabbing at it with my hand. So and part of the problem was that I had probably not, I probably cut around it too close and it was already not completely sealed. So, I obviously was very unhappy with how that was looking and I actually went to a training for work a couple of days ago and I was going to take my Filofax, of course. I wanted it to look nice, so I thought, okay, I'm going to, normally I wouldn't be doing this till like end of August, making new dividers and stuff. But I thought, I'm going to, I'm going to change it up because I want it to look nice for my meeting. So, First, I went to Walmart to get scrapbook paper. I thought, I'm just going to use scrapbook paper this time. I'm, um, the other ones were too thick, and that was part of the problem. So that's what I did. I went and got scrapbook paper. Um, what I got was, I'm going to try not to move this around. I got, it's called the Veranda Pattern Pack. Okay? It is gorgeous. It's got beautiful, beautiful stuff in it. Like, so kind of exotic, but flowers, and, you know, like, a couple of them, to me, look almost sort of Indian. Like, they're really, really pretty. So, like, I love that one. I love the one for my first page. It's almost like the medallion print. Oh, I like that one, too. So, I got it at Walmart. It was $5, folks. The reason I'm mentioning this is because... A couple of days ago, I went to Staples. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I went to Michael's. Uh, and the packs were bigger. Granted, they were bigger than that one. They were $25. L like, that is a beautiful pack. Why? And you know what's nice about it, too? And I'm going to show you that I kind of screwed up on some of these. Uh, there's three of each sheet. So, if let, you know, if I'm not happy with how this turns out or something happens to it, I can just make it again using the sheets over here. Anyway, I, I don't understand how I find Michaels is so overpriced. But anyway, so I'm very happy with these dividers. Now, I do like having plain tabs. I will admit that. Sorry, I'm going to bring these back over. I like having like a plain tab like this and then using the clear tape. 
I used the Dymo label maker. It is the easiest label maker on the planet. I am not kidding you. You have a tape like this. You snap it in. You would have to be how can I explain it? You'd have to be brain dead to not be able to handle this. It, like this thing is amazing and it's so easy. Now the only thing I wish is that they had different colored tapes but you know what, whatever. So I thought to myself, okay, trying to get these, trying to get these tabs in is too much work. I'm just going to make tabs out of my sheet, if you see what I mean, right? Just make the tab part of the page. But I loved the size of these tabs, and I loved how they were all kind of demarcated so that, like, I just find when I try to put tabs in, they don't seem like they match up as well as they should, and I love that these were already, already done already already that these were already done for me so I use these as my guide so what I did was I use one of these I would have used I didn't use this this one because it's all mangled but I used the first page of this and I just cut around it with my I got my scrap of paper out and I cut around it and then I actually what I did was I put the two pages together and I cut around both of them I chose I like to choose pages that kind of um, make sense together so like I, this has some nice lime green so I have a lime green back here I put them together I cut around them then what I did was because obviously this is bigger than the page particularly with the laminating and the edges and everything then once I had it done I kind of t I took a Philofax page and I kind of trimmed around it to make it be the right size then I made them all doing that Okay, is everybody clear so far? So I made them first. I stuck. I just did it with paper clips. Then I stuck them together, which is a tiny little bit of glue because when you put them in the laminator, they cling. Especially when you put them on that page, the page really causes them to cling together. Then I fed them to the laminator. Now I made the decision to put the tags on afterwards. I did not laminate over the tags a couple of reasons for that. I find that sometimes it just makes it look all bumpy and kind of, uh, it annoys me. And also, then I can change them out if I want. My only concern is that they might get a little bit dirty. These are what they call paper tabs or paper tape. There's also, see it says right on it here, white paper, you probably can't see that. They also have a plastic tape, which is a little more expensive. I don't know if I need that. I don't think I do. These would come off very easily if I wanted them to, and I could just redo them. So I'm very happy with this. The only thing I don't like about doing the white is that I find, like, it, this thing has a little thing. When it prints off, you press this. It's like a scissors, and it cuts it. But it cuts it with a very long tail, if you see what I mean. Like, it might come out this far. So I always trim them down. And sometimes when I trim them down, I don't trim them down as straight as I should. But whatever, who cares, right? I mean, it's just they're, they're dividers. I'm going to be using them at work. Now, I already screwed this up. It's split. That's kind of why I had that little flower pin up there. So I already, I already did what I told you guys you shouldn't do, which is cut it too close. But again, like I said, I've got a whole booklet of these. If it starts to bug me, if it starts to split, I'll just make another one. So, um, I really like the categories that I had last time. I did the exact same categories. I did the exact same configuration. I just made different dividers. And you know what? I actually like the color, although I love these, don't get me wrong, but I like the color of these better. I am more of a black person. These were almost a little too much. These are perfect. They're kind of dark but colorful at the same time. Th I love them. So, I'm going to show you all the dividers so you can see how they turned out. So, that's my monthly one. Here's my weekly one. It's um, it's flowers and it has like a butterfly, and then um, it has this kind of a cool um, striped with all, with some of the different patterns on the back. Then we have this one, which I think is really gorgeous. It looks sort of like Indian lanterns or something, I think. And then it has like, see, so like this has kind of this orange, and then I put the orange on the back, and see, look how nice. I I tagged the back. I didn't do that last year. I left the blank. I left the backs blank. 
but this time um, because I figured well I'm going to use the white I, I can so I tag the backs and she can see that the, the backs all look really nice together too and I actually look at that I know that sounds really lame but I'll look and make sure that like some of these colors are coordinating with each other now I think I have to do a little something here for this one because I don't want to I think I have some meeting notes here that I can't let people see which I should have thought of before but I think I can there we go what you can do with one hand so here's my meeting my new meeting one I think this is gorgeous I love it and then the other side is this pretty blue oh look I already came over but again I can just put another one like you know that laminator and that um, label maker they have paid for themselves over and over they are fantastic okay so here's my plans sheet and this is like a butterfly with some branches it's brown and then on the back is this beautiful kind of medallion these are some notes from my assess from my thing that I went to yesterday or a couple of days ago and then this is a pretty one too this is orange I also sp screwed this one up at the top so I might have to make another one but I don't use this one a lot and I would grab the tab down here so this probably won't be and I can actually put another little pin up there too so that probably won't be a big deal so this is notes and what I'll do for the notes is like just if I want to make notes about something if I'm if there's something I'm thinking about or in my class I'll often journal with the kids and I'll do my journaling in this section and um See, one of the top three things I want to focus on for next year is what I have there. So, um, you know, I'll just make little notes to myself. Now, this, this I kept in because I felt like it's still, you know, it's still close enough to the colors um, that I have. Oh, I can show you the back. That back of that one's really nice, too. It's kind of that. So, I figured this is close enough, and I love this little folder. Now, word to the wise, if you want to make one of these and have it a little stick out a little bit like this, because I think this works really nice, that it has, it has this tab, and I just put finances on there don't cut it to this size like cut it out to there do you see what I mean I made one of mine too small so that's just a word to the wise on making those little folders um, <coughs> this is a cool thing this came with my um, this really neat pack I got from Filofax UK it's really hard to find it's this whole business section but there's a receipts envelope and you can put like your business receipts in here which I'm going to start putting those in because um, in my, where I work they'll reimburse you for some of your school supplies if you have the receipts so I've already bought some things so I have to put those in um, I have at the back here I have some of my contacts I have another one of those little envelopes sorry I'll put that back up like that and then okay now here's the other thing that I thought was kind of interesting about this now I was concerned because with the sketch that it had a full size pocket and this one didn't and I sometimes will like I'll just have papers and I have to tuck them in well I'll tell you something this thing it's like, it, I don't know if it's because it's so pliable and compact or what, but it, I can stick stuff back here and it goes nowhere. I've got all my stuff in here. I can carry it around. I can open it up. I can use it. And that stuff, that stuff has stayed there for months in the back there. Just, just, just set there. Again, I really, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm probably teasing people with this, but this thing, I just... I cannot, I cannot tell you how much I love it. It is such a perfect work binder. Now, that said, I'm very excited because I am getting an Erin Condren, Condren sorry, teacher's binder, and that is coming within days, although it is absolute, they are notorious for taking a long time. So, anyway, but it's coming soon. I won't need until the fall, obviously, but I'm very excited to get it set up, and I'm really going to thinking that I'm going to be able to use that and this, like, together. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm hoping that that kind of gave you some idea of what I've been up to. I'm going to make another video in just a couple of minutes talking about another switch with my file facts. Then I'm going to talk about Aaron Condren, and then I'm going to do kind of a haul video. So keep, keep, um, keep watching. And I hope that this um, helped you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.